now for the healing brush the healing brush in my opinion was the, the largest breakthrough in Photoshop uh, ever <laughs> uh, at least since the healing brush and it's totally changed the way I retouched and everyone else does as well before we'd have to match up the clone stamp you know, and as I described and showed you, the, the various skin patches with different tones cannot be cloned from one to another very successfully as they do not match in tonal values. And with the healing brush, what they have done is basically up supercharged the clone stamp to take into account and measure the l brightness levels in the surrounding area from where you're cloning to and cloning from and change that color the bright luminosity information to match and it works very well uh, first of all we're now going to use the spot healing brush it's it's a stupid tool I don't even know why Photoshop has stuck it in there the healing brush tool is the tool to use so make sure you have the healing brush tool selected and it works the same way as the clone stamp you have to select the source point and then uh, paint at the destination point and you do that by holding down the alt key and selecting the source point okay let's clear all this stuff off zoom in on the image here and basically the advantage of the clones the the healing brush is this let's do the same test as I've shown you in the previous clone stamp lesson let's click over here on this uh, a wrinkle here and paint it in the same area where we did that in the other lesson. As you can see, while you have the the mouse, as, as while you're holding the mouse down, it all it does is it basically clones, and you can see the difference in the texture and and the uh, color and brightness values of the skin you're cloning from to the area you're cloning to. Totally a bad match. But as soon as we let go of our mouse, it'll immediately calculate the values and change that and as you can see it's a much better match although you can still see the difference because although the 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 brightness levels and colors are the same the the actual texture of the skin in this area is different but besides the point you can see that the it's a b much better match than the clone stamp was able to do so this is the advantage of the healing brush and it makes retouching imperfections of the skin a breeze and I'll show you on these pimples here. So increase our brush size by left creaky, uh, basically left bracket makes it smaller and right bracket makes it larger and then alt click and pick a you know a, what I like to do when I'm using the healing brush and I like to source in a similar texture of the skin for example as you can see this skin has you know, horizontal folds like little tiny micro wrinkles going and if I was to select from here and paint it into an area that does that has a vertical micro wrinkles it's not going to be a very good match although that you know the, the texture is completely different and if you you know looking at the image close up like right now you can totally see a mismatch in texture in the skin and it looks obviously fake so what I like to do is I like to clone from an area with the same or very similar uh, skin texture that's clean uh, you know um, and that basically works much better so here we go let's clone from this area I mean source and then heal into this area and that's a very good match and so I just basically do that and it's a very quick um, breeze to correct these imperfections and I always like to sample from a new area every time I clone so that way you're not getting any kind of repeating patterns and that's basically how uh, the healing brush works. Is it's, uh, it's it does your job much quicker. With if you were to use clone stamp, let's let's undo these real quick. If we were to do the same thing with the clone stamp, the little differences in texture would make a big difference. So let's say we want to clone from this area onto this area. You know that worked okay. And let's say we want to clone from this area onto this area. Well, that's already a big mismatch, although they're very close to each other. And let's do the same thing again in the healing brush. And you will understand what I mean. Looks like a mismatch, but you let go and you got a perfect match right there. So that's basically all there is to know about the healing brush. And as you can see, you can also do aligned and, un and not aligned and by default the checkbox is not checked and this is the preferred way you want to work because you want to always have your source point 
source from the same point and if you want it to leave it there you can continue you know retouching but you can see the mismatch in skin texture there you wouldn't want to do that but this is the preferred way of working in the healing brush is to have your align box unchecked and you can also uh, heal from you know uh, your on your current layer in below or all layers but I usually always like to heal on the current layer and that's basically all there is to know about the healing brush it's a very useful tool and this is probably the number one tool I use for facial retouching or one of the first and most used tools show you guys the disadvantage of the healing brush and that's basically let's do that same thing on the edge it works very well when you're working with when the edges are pretty similar in uh, in in texture and in information if you got some kind of a sharp line then um, you might see a pretty significant mismatch and that's when you most likely would want to use the clone stamp the healing brush works very well let's say we want to fix some of these areas here and it works quite well but when you're starting to get to the cl very close to the edge since it samples the information around that as you can see it tends to pull in that that information into that area and creates that problem it gets even worse when you're working on the edge you know it totally becomes unusable so at this point you would want to switch over to the clone stamp for that particular task and the same would hold true like right here you know I would want to say correct this area here and basically that will pull in some of that inf the, the, the values here into here and create a problem and not so much so let me just do it a little bit closer there we go so that's basically the areas where a healing brush doesn't work too well you can kinda overcome this by sampling halfway in between and then it works quite well so keep that in mind so if we sample halfway here and put it there, it kind of works, but then you have to make sure you got the edges aligned and they don't become uh, jagged. So let me just do that once again. Oh, there we go. Exactly what I was talking about there. So that's that would be the workaround for that. And I would, uh, I, if, if it was me, if that didn't work, I would definitely switch over to the clone stamp. It's a little bit more problematic to use as far as matching up the skin tone, but it's definitely better looking than this. So that's basically the area I forgot to touch on.